Grammarly for sponsoring today's video. Ooh. Apparently my mattress was like delivered an hour ago. So I'm gonna go check outside to see if it's there. That's it. My mom's here today. Wanna say hi, come and say hi. Today we're gonna go to Ikea. I'm gonna pick up some stuff to organize my closet. Just look at some furniture, but probably gonna not get some furniture yet. Probably some bedding for my bed if I do find any there. Please use these ones for like specialty things. <laughs> They're cute though. Vintage. Let's go to Ikea. This chair is kind of cute, but it also just doesn't look like it'd be comfortable. Maybe like with a, like a little fluffy thing on the bottom. It doesn't have much butt support, that I will say. Also, I like this lamp, guys. My mom pointed it out. Guys, look how cute this desk is. And it's cheap. It's so cute. This is so cute. For the living room, it's $189. Look at how beautiful this kitchen is. I think I'm gonna get these drawers and I think this would be a really cool touch to them. I know that they'd be quite difficult to probably to put together. This is even cute. That's so cute. Look how cute. Obviously we need a carpet. I think this is a really pretty blue. Pretty. This is like a mint color, which I think would be really pretty. It's 150. These are actually two different ones because that's that name and it's more fluffier. This one and it's a little bit of a different texture. This is cool. All right, we're gonna get that one instead because it covers more ground. Yeah, that's gonna be harder to put it over here. Like, there we go. for the first time here. I'm excited to like have monumental moments in this house. You know, when you're like first time having dinner together, having people over, moments like that where you're like, whoa, I have new beginnings to talk about. <laughs> in my house. I like the space to just do work, edit, answer emails. Also, I'm talking a little bit on the more quieter side just because there's like no furniture in this house. Therefore, everything echoes and sometimes I get a little bit nervous to talk on camera with my roommates here. We're obviously all just warming up to each other so I'm still warming up to being on camera in front of them. I have been just answering some emails this morning. I've been editing. I literally just put my computer here and then I'll just sit here. It's like the most peaceful thing to do. That's why I'm going to talk about today's sponsor of this video, which is Grammarly. If you've been looking to improve your writing, Grammarly is the tool for you. Grammarly is an all-in-one writing tool, and although I know we are in summer, and some of us may or may not be in summer classes, Grammarly can serve a purpose on an everyday basis. In my case, I could use Grammarly for Instagram stories, professional emails, YouTube description boxes. For those of you that are starting internships this summer, Grammarly is a beautiful tool to use in any professional setting. I know we've also reached that point in time where we we also just use text messaging now in the job setting to communicate with one another. So to keep that form of professionalism, Grammarly can definitely help when sending messages between coworkers, between bosses. So when it comes to writing, Grammarly is that tool that just makes it easier. Grammarly actually comes in two different versions. The free version allows you to use basic spelling and grammar suggestions, but upgrading to the premium version, it comes with many more advanced features that will help you save time and work more productively. The premium version comes with a clarity feature that rewrites
writes hard to read sentences to keep you running clear and to the point. It also provides vocabulary suggestions to help expand your vocabulary and replace boring or bland words with more exciting, effective, and memorable ones. Downloading Grammarly now will only help tremendously when school comes back in session, which I know is not something none of us want to think about right now. Familiarizing yourself with all the great features is going to be a great tool when heading into the new school semester, whether you're going into your senior year, freshman year of college, which is very exciting. I'm telling you now, when you do get to college, you are probably going to come across assignments where you do have to write papers. It's free to download on your desktop. You can also use it on any platform that you work on. So Google Docs, Word, I actually can use it on Final Cut Pro, which is super cool. It's summer. So why not save some time and download Grammarly? It's also free. Go to Grammarly.com slash Michaela to sign up for a free account. And if you'd like to get some extra features, you guys can upgrade to premium for 20% off as a college student and a content creator. Obviously, this serves many different purposes in my life. I will say this is very full circle because I would always see the Grammarly ads pop up while I was watching YouTube videos. Thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to it. A few moments later. This is what tonight consists of. We each have a draft, okay? We each, how many cards is it? One. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> First pick in the 2022 NBA draft. Look at the numbers on the phone. I know. Look, then why the fuck are you gonna pick that one? Okay. Okay, pick whoever you okay. want. Okay. Okay. Who'd you pick? None of your business. We had that Pokemon. Let me see it. Crap. Okay, let's do it. It does 50 damage to itself. So you're gonna have 90 HP. So now this is for day. And you can pick whichever Pokemon I put at the front. You can oh pick God. any of them. Seems like I'm just gonna die either way. I'm gonna die before. Why didn't you put this dude in? You are last player, bro. It's been a while since I made my trip to Ikea. I did get a few things from there. We were in Ikea for probably like two hours, just appreciating the beauty that it is. Although I am a hater and I'm a lover. I'm both because if you guys saw the last video, I had the most difficult time making the bed frame that I bought from them. For the amount of time we spent building this bed frame, every single time that I get up from my bed, it makes a noise. So would I recommend the mom bed frame from Ikea? There's pros and cons to it. It's a beautiful looking bed frame, but it's difficult to build unless you want to pay for the Ikea people to build it for you. My boyfriend can attest. He was so mad building the drawers and I thought it was just a me problem. They make it impossible to build those things. Anyways, now I have an Ikea haul for you guys. First, we got this really cute bag. My mom decided to buy it. I thought it was really cute. It's a rainbow. I got a bunch of hangers. These are just white ones. I do have the wood ones from there, but honestly, I feel like the white ones do look a little cleaner. I picked up this, what would this be? Bottle? I don't know, what, what do they even call this? You can place your drinks in here so i'm imagining smoothies if i ever decide to make a watermelon juice i also thought this corkscrew at the top was just really cute i got one singular plate because this was 8.99 since we all are sharing plates we didn't want to get like too many plates because that would just clutter up the kitchen i was looking for a very flat surface type of plate and this is cute it's also not white it's baby blue and it has like this kind of pattern the bottom. Why don't I know what these are called? It shows it in the picture here. For some reason, I'm completely blanking out on what it's called. I got two of them so I can use one in the kitchen and then leave one in my room. I thought it was cute. It's simple, aesthetic. In my closet, there's like a lot of different levels of shelves and I thought I would pick up these organizers. I only bought one so far just because I don't know if it's actually going to fit. I have this one just to test trial and see if it works and then I'll go back to Ikea and buy more. In my moving out vlog, my roommate mentioned that she wanted a cake holder or one of those it's probably better that i just show you <laughs> ow this is the top part of it this is the nope that's not it <laughs> this is the bottom half of it and then you put your cake here that's what it looks like it's so cute it has completely inspired me to bake a cake tomorrow what really sold me was like this flower detailing at the bottom of it so it actually comes from the bottom on this side so when my friends come in tomorrow that have been back at home i thought it would be a cute idea to make a cake it could be like a little housewarming cake i hate the way that cardboard smells is that just me or it literally smells like poop i don't know what it is anyways that's my miniature ikea haul we'll definitely be going there another time or i'll have stuff ordered here because i will say the only thing that i don't like about ikea is it can be very stressful in there lines are long sometimes you go there and it says that something is in stock and then it's not when you arrive but i still love them i, I still love them my grandma gave me this smoothie maker, so I'm gonna clean the bottom of it. I already cleaned like the smoothie maker in itself right now, so I'm gonna show you guys because it's so cute. Here are the parts. I just washed them. It's like grandma. The way this is detailed. Okay. 
Okay, and this goes at the top. This little stopper thing prevents, obviously, the smoothie from coming out and exploding at you. There's our smoothie maker. Shout out to my grandma for gifting this. I don't know where we're gonna put it though yet. Nice. <laughs> bed in this corner of the room but i actually want to see what it would look like if i put it in the middle of the room i do have drawers that go at the bottom of my bed frame so i actually can't put a nightstand next to my bed which is one reason why i'm considering putting my bed in the middle because i feel like it is convenient to have one I actually kind of like the bed in the middle more. I feel like it really brings the room together and it frames it really well. It definitely feels like a more cozy room. This is a really important decision because unlike my other room, I was able to rearrange everything whenever I wanted to. As you guys know, I did like five different rearranging my rooms. But in this case, it's going to be a little bit more difficult if I do want to rearrange or like change my room at some point. So choosing where my bed goes is really, it's a big decision. I'll update you guys on whether it's staying here or going back in the corner because I'm very indecisive also. So this, this will probably be something I need to sleep on for a couple days. I just took out my duvet cover out of the dryer. I did order a linen duvet cover, but that probably won't come in for a while. So for right now, I'm just going to use my white duvet cover that I already have. The problem with white duvet covers is they get really dirty, and I feel like spending a lot of money on a very expensive one because duvet covers can be really expensive. The amount that I just paid for the one that I bought is a little ridiculous. <laughs> This is literally the exact color that I wanted. Damn, they sealed this. Why is it sealed so perfectly like that? This color is so pretty. This is such a pretty green color. I'll definitely probably just throw this in the wash, but I'll show you guys what it looks like with my bed. This is what it looks like. I think it looks really pretty with the white. I will say it is smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. I want my bed to be super cozy, so I wanna have like really fluffy pillows. Two to three throws on the bed at a time. Seems reasonable, but I'm obsessed with this color. I feel like it gives a good pop to the bed. Currently cooking some steak right now. Have the oil on here, but I thought I would show you guys something. You guys didn't see the empty house tour i showed you guys that we have this what would this be called if you could pull it out put your spices here and i just used it for the first time i thought it was so cool i went to go put my spices back there's a lot more room down here like there's so many of them this is how you cook Carmine, this makes more snipe thank you you're taking the trash out for me i don't make him do this work he just volunteered Guys, I don't think our water heater works. Uh, we've had like no hot water for a minute now. So we're trying to figure this out ourselves, but I think we'll have to call the gas person again or someone to help us fix this because we're trying to figure it out ourselves and it's it's not working. And I can't really help that much. He would be the one that knows. I am gonna cut some watermelon. 
My mom brought half of one. Very kind of her. I just made a one minute TikTok on cutting watermelon. I will say I thoroughly enjoyed it. Here's my bowl of watermelon. I'm gonna eat. Enjoy this feature of a mukbang with me. Why did it look like a. I think I ended up figuring out the water situation and it started blinking. So basically, the pilot turned on and I think I got it to work. So we're gonna test out the water to see if it gets warm. And if it does, I'm gonna feel so bad. Nope. <laughs> okay, that is literally hot. Perfect, perfect. All right, no more wasting water. I'm not gonna lie, I feel really proud of myself because I figured that all on my own. Although it was a very easy process, I don't know why we couldn't get it the first time. Somehow it ended up working for me and we have hot water now, which is great because showering in cold water was not fun. I couldn't even do it, I couldn't wash my hair. My hair hasn't been washed for a minute now, I will say that. Today, we're actually gonna have some friends over at the house. Two of my friends are coming in from like their hometown, so they're visiting and we're gonna just have a little get together. So we're gonna pick up some snacks, we're gonna bake a cake, we're gonna get flowers we're gonna like add some decor to the kitchen i also need to go to tj maxx but i think we'll go tomorrow because i'm gonna get some like pillow decorations for my bed i will say one thing about my bed my bed is so comfortable i think it's really important to invest in the bedding that you have making sure that you're getting a good night's sleep and you're just comfortable sleeping i'll link the mattress and the mattress topper <laughs> if I want this one or that one. Like, I feel like this would be more flavorful. Our friends are gonna be coming over in a bit and we did- Oh my gosh, Z, that is a little terrifying. This is my friend Z. I did say hi to the camera, introduce yourself. No. Mm -hmm. some chips, they were two for 10 at Target. We got some ruffles and nacho cheese Dorito chips for the boys who probably eat a lot. Some Dave's Killer Bread. I'm gonna be sharing this with my roommates. I can never finish a loaf of these on my own, but I feel like they actually do last a lot longer than regular bread. We got the strawberry cake and cupcake mix funfetti. I haven't really baked a cake in a while, so we'll see how this goes. For the cake, frosting, green glitter gel, pink sanding sugar. I got this small little tub of Nutella. So cute. And then some honey creamy almond butter because I'm pretty much out of the one that I got last time. Set oven to 350. It doesn't matter what order, you kind of just throw it all in together. Okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> She's a pro. There you go. Get your hands in the 